Back at Oshkosh 2021, we were looking at this airplane earlier from this man, but there's something else here we want to look at. Now we've seen this engine before, but there's some changes to it, Chip. Tell me what's going on that's different. Not a whole lot different uh, because we modified the engine ourselves to suit uh, the, our aircraft uh, and other aircraft as well. What's different is we have a direct connection inside the factory and we had one engine made to our specifications, sent pictures all around, modified it a little bit, and have a 20 engine production run next week, exactly how we want the engine built for aircraft use with nothing extra, uh, perfectly configured, the intake has changed, um, uh, some of the gears are changed a bit, yeah, we don't need an oil cooler, and we don't need the CVT. Uh, a a Can-Am style uh, ATV engine that's built by the tens of thousands for many years that's redneck tested pretty much bulletproof service centers all over the world we have that engine and we're stocking these for any aircraft then we have our custom made reduction drive good for uh, 90 horsepower uh, with our and that's from India with our matched um, carbon ground adjustable propellers from Slovakia to go on our checkmate aircraft so the engine itself is, is quite modern uh, it, it, yes, it's mostly replacing HKS and 582, but it, it, none of the, neither of those engines are, are fuel injected or have electronic ignition uh, or um, the, the power density of this. The Rotax would because it's two stroke, but this is quite an efficient engine and it's very smooth. There's a, uh, videos of this flying uh, for many years on other aircraft in India and Great Britain, and now shortly they'll be flying on the Merlins. Uh, the, this this trike here and quite a few other aircraft that, that need the replacements for 582 and HKS. And yeah, I'm sure everyone is, has heard the news that the 582 is discontinued. Right. Now there's still a lot of stock of those, so people don't need to panic yeah, yet, but a all. lot of people have really leaned toward four-stroke more and more and more over the years, yeah, they're, they're, and they're, they're this one offers that. You can lay the torque curve down over the HKS because that's four-stroke, and they're very similar, so you end up with a... a three gallons per hour on a, a, a more modern engine it, uh, it's very smooth bulletproof uh, and really the, the maintenance is so low you just mostly just change the oil and then it's good for uh, we're projecting more than a thousand hours because it's a much easier environment on an aircraft than an ATV oh yeah sure they're in the dust yeah. all the time and, and stuff a thousand hours is an awful lot of hours and we we'll probably fly more than that but even though even then the uh, replacement cost is so cheap that you just put a new engine on. <laughs> so it's not a TBO, it's a TBR. To be replaced, time yes. before replacement. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I get that. Now, uh, this engine you originally envisioned for the Merlin PSA, kind yeah. of the big, not, not too much bigger brother, but a bigger brother to the Merlin Light. Yeah. Yeah. And are you already selling some aircraft that will have this engine on it when uh, they come in? Almost every Merlin sold now is getting the v-twin okay people like the four stroke and they like it that it's significantly less money also than the hks and uh even less money than the 582 so we've done the we've nearly finished with all the engineering uh, so we have the engine mount uh, and cowl designed and the cooling system and the fuel system and by the end of this month we'll have that um tooling started to be made and hooks being made so we can ship complete firewall forward packages by the end of September. So we'll, uh, so there's okay. already people taking a delivery of their Merlins, working on their panel, uh, working on their paint, uh, finishing up the riveting and preparing to put the, the V-twin on it uh, September, October time. Cool. Now, there are people that will say, yes, but this is a converted engine, then do I have to do stuff to make it ready for an airplane well, or are you going to bring did. it in as an airplane engine so far as they're right. concerned no we made all that we because of our chinese connections we're able to get direct factory uh support so we already have them making exactly to our configuration made for our aircraft so all you have to do is bolt the reduction drive on so we'll ship uh, engines direct from our warehouse without even taking them out of the box and then you have another shipment with the reduction drive and the propeller of your choice, pusher, tractor, uh, diameter, and that's basically it's plug and play. Yeah, what you've got it on here might be a powered paraglider carriage or something like that, yes. but the point is it's 
a pusher configuration, whereas on the Merlin or the Merlin PSA, you can kind of see in the background there, it's a tractor, obviously, so you've got it figured both ways. That's that. The only difference is the, the propeller blades. Okay. The, the engine and, and reduction drive uh, don't care. It's exactly the same. Is it liquid cooled? Yes. Okay. Yes, we have a we have a custom made radiator because we have good speeds on the Merlin and uh, less BTUs than a, a bigger Rotax. We could use a, a smaller radiator and have a nice looking cowl on the Merlin. Cool. When's the first engines coming in, Chip? Oh, we've already been shipping engines. Oh, you already have. Yeah. Okay. So, so we've, we've been buying just small batches and converting them ourselves. I see. So okay. Now we're getting our, a dedicated production line, uh, uh, a run of the engines that are made to our specifications uh, next week. Next week. Next okay. Week so be, right after Oshkosh or Air Venture 2021, you're going right. to start seeing, and these will be factory ready engines to go on airplanes. Is that yes. correct? We shipped one uh, last week. And when the customer had it within six hours, it was mounted on his aircraft. Wow. So how do you refer to this engine? When people call you up and say, hey, uh, that, that engine, what do they say? Just call it the V-Twin. V-Twin, okay. Yeah, V-Twin it is. Air Marine V-Twin. And you can find us at airmarine-lsa.com. And uh, we'll, we put blogs up quite often uh, when we have something to say and some new pictures of the new, new engineering. All right, great. Aeromarine-lsa.com. And you yes. can find more about this. I'll keep up with it. On bydanjohnson.com, there's a short video about this new exciting engine from Chip Irwin and Aeromarine LSA.